Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Dead Cells. It is not Risk of Rain, and I definitely did not almost say Risk of Rain. Um, <clears throat> after yesterday's episode, some of you might be asking, Hey SB, why not just why not just roll away from the scary enemy? Why must you go toward danger? And the answer is that I'm very brave and intrepid, it's just my natural character. And the actual answer is probably that there was a long time in Dead Cells where roll through the enemy as they attack was the correct solution to basically every enemy. Um, and apparently I'm just having a hard time unlearning that reflex. But yeah, with the with the sludge ball monsters, I definitely should be rolling away from them more often. Obviously, if you if you are trying to be active instead of reactive, and you roll away and they decide to do the spit attack instead of the ball attack, you're just going to get hit by the projectile. Uh, the answer to that is just watch them, watch what they're doing, and don't do the wrong thing, dummy. Um, so that's so that's where I'm trying to get, but it might it might be a, a little while, you know. I got a, a reflex to unlearn. It's not necessarily the easiest thing in the world. That said, I do think that that's the plan: go through the um, go through the the corrupted prison rather than going through the promenade to the slightly easier prison depths, because I don't like the promenade. I don't like the situation with the the training dummies. If we had a path available to us that went through biomes where there are no training dummies at all, I would take it. But unfortunately, at the Prison Depths Corrupted Prison level, they both have them, so... Uh, I think we're going to take this tube. I do see the s rank Giant Killer, and that's exciting. But this tube has the new crossbow that you guys haven't got to see in it, and I think it's a lot of fun to use. And also, it's just got a good, strong, single-color identity. It's a good, it's a good tube. So, the repeater crossbow deals critical hits on rooted targets and it's alternate fire uh, it shoots like a an arc of arrows that root enemies and it seems real good we got an oil grenade a thing that causes burning and then a lot of things that deal bonus damage to people who are covered in burning oil so there's some uh there's some synergy here also victims freeze nearby enemies is a very powerful affix i have high hopes i have high hopes for our equipment at the beginning of this run uh this we do not need So, hold on, we're going to talk about this in a second here, as soon as I have a moment. So it roots enemies, oh, they, and, then they, and then they die immediately, and so you don't get to really show it off. So yeah, it fires really, really fast. Uh, remember, most enemies can't turn around while rooted, but some of them can, and there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to it. We just have to remember which ones are which. Uh, and I'm going to be trying to move fast here, because again, it would be cool to get the uh, the time door, if that is a thing that could happen. Oof, that was almost bad. So you can see the root attack, it fires like... I'm not actually hitting him. It fires like a big arc of projectiles. So you can hit, um, you can hit a lot of enemies with it. And the damage output is really solid. I was trying to avoid waking up the elite. Because I would love to, um, obviously... Would love to finish our combo before engaging him. Never mind, it's fine. Turns out this weapon is fine. Um, I do not think that this, golden, this new golden amulet is any good at all. Nope, it's trying to, trying to drop down to the ground. Turns out to be tricky. Yeah, it seems really powerful. It seems like it's going to be really good for blueprint hunting. Oh, he's already rooted. Okay, there's our combo. Shoot, I rolled through to the front side of the shield man. Oh, alright. Mushroom Boy figured it out. Yeah, and as you can see, the upper, the uppermost arrow on the root volley travels a really impressive distance. Way further than the... Um, than the rest of the thing fires, unfortunately. So you do have to you do have to sometimes get a little closer to actually kill stuff. All right. Well, time door is off the table. Oh, you know it says on the tin that it's a powerful grenade. I guess I should have trusted that. Uh, toxic sewers. Yeah, we're probably doing the sewers, but obviously we're uh, we're short a couple of things here. Now, the Mushroom Boy might actually 
make it more difficult to blueprint hunt. I wasn't really thinking about that. We might want to... Um... Ooh. I do like a stun grenade. A stun grenade that poisons enemies is kind of funny. The plus 50% stun duration is a big deal, though. I think I'm going to drop the Mushroom Boy because he's going to make... He's going to make blueprint capture unreliable. Uh, well, that's a shame. I can't believe I missed him with that. I mean, no, I can't. I, what I mean to say is I'm disappointed. <laughs> I, pressed, I pressed the wrong button there. That was supposed to be an R, not an E. Okay, we got through it, though. Somehow we survived. Um, no, this is still better. Got some non-poisoned food here. There's my other scroll. Well, our build is very focused so far. So what, there's like a little bit of money in this one, right? Nope. Poisoned watermelon. Well, if we somehow took like 70% damage without gaining any malaise, we could eat the watermelon, then eat the cherry. Alright, I think we're going to drop our powerful grenade. We have lots and lots of tools to ensure a good blueprint hunt. And we will, we will get more explosives. I'm not worried about that, actually. The nearest teleport is too far away. We should probably just walk back out. Alright, I am really curious about the mutation that the um, that the failed experiments seem to have, but I wonder if maybe we want to try to get a different blueprint this run, since that mutation looks like it's red, and we obviously would not have a lot of use for it right now. Okay, we know the deal with this. Okay, so there's still lots of enemies left, like a lot of enemies left, and also the chest. Yeah, I think we are doing the sewers. But obviously, we should go and steal all of this money first. I do wonder, like, I feel like we don't see challenge rifts in floors very often, and I wonder if I am just missing them a lot, or if they're if they're really pretty rare. Well, that's not exactly how I wanted that to go down. Oh, I didn't want to do that either. Shoot. I meant to roll to the wall. I don't mean, did not mean to roll so far that we ended up on the other side of that. Alright, uh... Not a, not 100% what I was going for there, either. I'm experiencing some minor clumsiness today. I know, SB? Clumsy? No, how could it be? I'm just making sure we're not missing floor runes and stuff. Man, you come way closer than I would like to destroying those doors by accidentally uh, slamming near them. As good as the uh, as good as the root thing is for synergizing with our weapon, I don't think we're gonna bother taking it. Yeah, the weapon has a built-in root, right? right? So let's just go fix that point of malaise I managed to take. Remarkably, uh, point of malaise I managed to take without taking any actual damage. Like, I healed off 100% of the damage from the hit that diseased us. Yeah, okay, I think we're good to go. So we're going to try not to do the failed experiment um, blueprint. Let's try to get a blueprint from somebody else here. Because on any run where we where we want to go red, it should be easy enough to get the failed experiment blueprint out of the first biome and be able to play with it for the whole run if it turns out to be good. Alright, show me some real exciting stuff. Uh, you have failed. You have failed to show me exciting stuff. I mean, this is a pretty good Mushroom Boy, maybe. Actually, Spreads Inflammable Oil on the enemy might only apply when it actually is, um... When it's actually spawned. Because a lot of things work that way. Uh, we don't have anything we want to unlock. We just want to continue. 
maybe carry some of these cells through to the forge. Alright, uh, what is best? Does... Heart of Ice does apply on rooted enemies. Frostbite does not. So we could take Heart of Ice. I might... We might still be... I'm going to take this. I know that it's not a, a thing that helps us actually kill the enemies, but to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think we have an option that actually improves our offense very much. Heart of Ice will be nice, but it's not actually very effective right now. By the time by the time we reach the uh, the next ability to take a mutation, I think we'll still here. Let's let's try with this guy. Ow! All right, so we loot him. Where we root him, and for some reason that stopped channeling. There we go. Okay, it's a shield of some kind. Interesting. Um, there was an item called the Force Shield in the game before, but it had... I'm wondering if I'm misremembering, because it had different art. And the art that item has was for a different a different thing entirely. I guess we'll see when we definitely make it to the Collector without dying here, so that we can deliver the blueprint, which is absolutely what's going to happen. And I'm definitely... Not just going to get killed by random rats. Uh, we can just go ahead and take this right now, I think. I love freeze enemies on kill. It's one of my favorite affixes. I also love weapons that can deal a lot of crits really fast, even if they're not necessarily big crits, just because the, the audio and visual feedback on that is really satisfying. This does feel a little bit like poor sportsmanship on my part. So not even really letting that guy play the game. And the root, the root deals a fair amount of damage over time just to enemies who are rooted. Also, apparently you can root aerial enemies, which is... I mean, mechanically speaking, it's not that weird, but if you think about what... It's it's just magic flying chains, apparently. That's the way, that's the way we justify that. Do you see me not stomp when I didn't need to stomp? That's progress. That's, that's what has to pass for progress around here. I was not 100% sure I was safe there. Yeah, this crossbow is amazing. It seems it seems really good. Like even relative to the other crossbows which are pretty solid as single weapons. Okay, apparently that guy can turn around while rooted. Important to know. Add him to the database. It really does bum me out that, like, most enemies can't turn around while rooted, but some can, and there's no way to know by just, like, looking at them or anything. You just have to learn each one. I suppose that's, you know, it, it rewards system mastery. You can't say it doesn't do that. Even though he was rooted, I panic rolled. That's how, that's how afraid of these guys I am, damn it. There we go. I wanted to make sure I got him rooted while he was facing the correct direction. Yeah, root is super powerful. Root is the best status effect. Stun is probably the best status effect, but it's hard to find an item that stuns enemies for the uh, amount of time that we're looking at here. Stop. You see this thing where he, he continually just bobs upward? Every time we're about to get to shoot him, he's like, ah. Oh. But what if I didn't? What if I didn't let you shoot me? This is the thing I was complaining about at the end of the last episode. How am I supposed to do my job if the enemies are marginally competent? Who, who could work under these conditions? Okay, this one's just a book. This one doesn't give any loot at all. I will say that I 
I probably should have just taken that grenade. What am I doing? I have an empty... Again, I'm not used to running around with an empty hand. Off-color items are definitely better than an empty hand. But that's not the calculus that we are usually doing. Boy, no, uh... No teleports anywhere nearby, huh? I will say, I feel like the the root crossbow might actually make it a lot easier to get through the uh, the corrupted prison. So, which item do we want? I do think I'm I'm willing to spend item uh, spend money to get something into this empty hand. Uh, this wolf trap does seem pretty good. And you can use the wolf trap to root enemies that you don't think are safe to be near and then drop in behind them. But also, this is very good. And it does return our arrows. And it does do bonus damage to rooted targets. Yeah, okay. Okay, I believe that's the winner. That was a little, a little clumsy. Not exactly what I was intending to do. It didn't even really look cool. Why get better at fighting the enemies when you <laughs> when you can just root everything? Uh, I do think that our current stun grenade is slightly better. Uh, wait, does that connect? No, there's solid wall there. All right, we'll have to come and kill that guy from the other side. Up down here and root him here. I do feel like we're doing a better job lately of um, using the enemy's mobility to our benefit. Apparently that that is all it takes to alert this worm. Ah, damn it. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's not like a big hit, but I thought I thought maybe I could uh, just hang there and be safe. Um, hmm. It does trade one of our stat points off, and we don't really have a use for the oil effect right now. I think I'm going to stick with our current necklace. As much as I do love having a source of oil, we're just we're very unlikely to have a reliable source of fire. One downside with this thing is that it does not aim up as much as a lot of... It, it doesn't aim up and down as much as a lot of ranged weapons will. Wow, how did I manage to miss him? See, he took the route. Why can't you be like him? Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Man, you really build up cells very quickly playing on these higher difficulties. It is crazy that that door is so far away from any teleporters. That almost never happens. Alright, so is there any place else to go? Yes, there sure is. I was going to say, I feel like we're a little light on uh, on stats for this point in the run. So I will say that it is a it is a bummer to have a, a root here. Ooh... It might be worth putting that over this shield. Like, this is a pretty good version of the Nutcracker. I don't love the Nutcracker as a weapon, but that's a pretty good one. You know what? I'm just going to sell that. There is no chance. We're coming back for that. Oh, hey. One of those runes I was talking about. I mean, we may as well do it now. We've already completed our combo and everything. A, a route that does include the ramparts, and especially if it goes like ramparts into graveyard or something, uh, gives you access to a larger number of food shops and as such a larger amount of cough syrup. So I have to wonder if maybe, maybe the better solution is just to deal with the stupid dummies. I really do hate them though. They can randomly create so many situations that are so ugly. 
Two extra jumps in midair might actually be useful in here. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the one we got. You know, it has the, it has the good, the good on color stats. This doesn't even go anywhere. Oh, this is a bummer. Okay, made it. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I got myself into a just-go-fast mindset, and it, it did eventually punish us. On the whole, though, this is going pretty well. We have, we have passed a lot of traps here without a lot of damage. Of course, it can never be simple, right? Hold on a second. Alright, so we just gotta run across and double jump up to that. That's doable. And this one looks like it maybe is actually just go real fast. It was indeed. Okay, hey, that was a pretty good challenge rift, if I do say so myself. We paid very little price for the strength that we gained. There you go. That's that's the outcome you want. You want to kill one rat right at the beginning so that he freezes everybody else. Uh, yeah, sure. Sure, more health. Why not? Alright, so we're basically done with this biome, and things are looking pretty okay for us. I do believe... Hmm, do we want this? I th think no. I really like the stun grenade. Yeah, we have we have root under control. Uh, I, th I think we have a pretty good loadout for surviving a the curse. The oncoming curse chest. Good lord, the health. Okay. We took some damage there, but critically, we did not gain a lot of malaise. Uh, ooh, do I like that? Probably not. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with the one that has the, the correct colored stats on it. So a little bit of healthy food would be nice. But I think, I think we are in a position here where we are not going to be taking the, uh, the Cursed Malaise Removal Mutation. Oh, he's inside the wall! That feels a little unfair. I didn't know they were allowed to be inside the wall. I wasn't looking out for that. I thought physics held some sway in this place. Foolish me. I am starting to get a little worried about our actual HP level now. Uh, ooh. That's a pretty good version of the frontline shield. You know what? <laughs> I will divest myself of this thing. Let us let us carry a shield instead. So yeah, just like some some good healthy watermelon right now would be real cool. I'm trying to get the green ones to blow up. There we go. I thought we saw him... I thought we saw the death splash when that guy fell. Maybe he landed on a different enemy and killed that? Ow. 
Well, we don't have any healthy food. Nor do we know for sure that there's any healthy food coming up. Hmm. Maybe we are going to take the the healing and malaise removal on curse mutation. I think we're in a place where we can we could survive it. We have good tools for surviving a curse. We're going to give these guys a chance to drop us some uh, some nice food though. Here, crouch, be stealthy. Okay, I think these two are the last two enemies on the level. So I'm gonna let the guy walk over there, then stun grenade, and... Alright, it should be pretty straightforward from there. And hey, they did drop something. Okay, yeah, I think we're still taking that mutation. I think, I think we will survive it. So, ah, uh, there we go. The Corrupted Prison is a terrifying place, though. Having to go 15 kills without getting splatted here is, uh, it's non-trivial. Oh, also, I gotta turn in that blueprint. Did I turn in that blueprint already? No, we got it. We got it in this biome. Ooh. Yo, that's a very good death orb. We're definitely taking this. The question is just what we replace. I like our stun grenade a lot. I mean, the crusher has a lot of value as a thing that you can use to kill enemies who can't necessarily see you, but I think... I think the death orb fills that space in our inventory better than it fills the the thing that the flashbang is currently doing. Alright. Generates a temporary force field when held up. It regenerates slowly while the shield is not held up, and parries speed up the process. Interesting. That is not the the shield I was thinking of. There was a, there is a shield that, or at least there used to be. Maybe it's, it was taken out of the game for this. Or there was a shield that it used to be the case. There was a shield that uh, when you parried, it would give you a force field for a second or two. Um, yeah, I, we'll we'll put some cells into that to potentially unlock later. Maybe in this run, if we replace our um, our crossbow with a melee weapon, find ourselves a giant killer or something. You know, we are going to the giant. It feels like it might be appropriate to uh, to bring the tool that is named for murdering him. And do I want to spend a bunch of money upgrading our repeater crossbow? What I really want to do is just replace it. Alright, let's go grab alienation. Reducing a curse five times re removes two malaise. Okay. That's a weird way for that to work. Alright, so if we survive the curse, we're like super back on track. Interesting. Off-color cheater's wings. Oh, that is very compelling, actually. Do we take that over our, our stun thing? I mean, obviously it doesn't do exactly the same thing. But it does make it hard for enemies to hit us. It has some of the same kind of utility. I think I'm going to do it. Here's hoping I don't end up regretting that. Oh god. Root does not prevent teleportation. Thing I didn't know. Come on, get crabbed. Okay. Thank you, Death Orb. I'm really worried about this. The fact that I can't see... Makes me so nervous. Okay, there's nothing else on this floor. Okay, okay. I hate it when they're in a place that's hard to see. You know what I should be doing? Oh, I, I am not allowed to... Okay. I was going to pop my head off and scout with it. I thought I had a, a, a clever idea there. But apparently the game is one step ahead of me. I wonder if that's just... You can't while you're cursed. Oh, that can still hit me. Turns out. Very dangerous. Very dangerous time. There you go. That's the tech. 
Let's trick him into thinking he's got you. When in fact, it is the other way around. Okay, so it turns out a lot more enemies than I would like can turn around while rooted. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Okay, one more. One more. Hate it. Hate it very much. Alright, that was a little it was a little weird and a little messy, but we got there and now we're in great shape. In an extremely hard biome. With all of the things that we hate. Right, the good news is pretty sure the goo guy is not aware of us. Alright, he won't turn around, it looks like, but he will do his teleport if he is aware of you when you root him. Oh, interesting. Those, um, nope, I did it again. I'm not sure, I'm honestly not sure why we didn't get hit there. I feel like I should have gotten hit. We were definitely not still in the iframes of the roll. I mean, whatever, I'll take it, but that feels like it feels like the game just bugged a little bit massively in our favor damn it I was hoping that if I was behind him he wouldn't he wouldn't be able to block it and also I was hoping that uh, get off the platform these guys these guys suck I hate them very much come on charge me charge into the thing Yeah, what an incredibly frustrating enemy. You know what? You're okay, you're getting the wings. It does feel like I very rarely encounter those guys while I am on uh, a melee weapon strat. They're not that hard to deal with if you, <laughs> if you have a melee weapon, but we're so often in crossbow land when we run into a bunch of them. Or like weird ranged weapon and shield problems, you know. Ow, wow, that attack really comes out very quickly, doesn't it? Ooh, this is... This is gonna be a bad time. Alright. We have awakened all of the enemies. Oh god. Okay, I gotta lure a bunch of them over here. Alright, that'll give me the time I need. Oh, he just went and teleported straight to the... The room with the thing. Alright, I think that went about as well as it could be expected to go. That is really just like a... That's one of those situations where there's no way out of it, right? Uh, you know what? Actually, this guy's not going to be killable without the wings. We are just waiting. Yeah, like a situation like that... Is that resolvable without taking damage for the average player? Probably not, right? I mean, even for a very good player, I would expect that's going to be a tough one. Can I get to a place where I can... No, not really. All right, fine, we'll just ride it out. And that is why they call them the Cheater's Weights. And by they, I mean everyone, definitely not just me. And a situation like that is never going to arise without without the, the dreaded uh, training dummy. All right. I am so happy to see Not Cursed Food... Might just uh, avoid that dude. Maybe maybe we just go around. Yeah, I'm okay not killing actually every enemy. That that's fine. All right. Well, <laughs> well, that's gonna do the job. Uh, I don't think we wanna spend money on pretty marginal upgrades here. trying to get some of them to come with us back over to here. Did we... Maybe I didn't aggro the crab. Would you please teleport over here? Hmm. It's interesting that he doesn't want to. And we... If we had not just seen an enemy teleporting to the shop, I might have... I might have thought that, oh, maybe they just don't do that. But clearly, clearly they do. Alright. 
There we go. Uh, I think we have to go down there anyway. We're gonna give it one of these. Okay. I love you, Death Orb. That is not going to be quite as bad as it would be with most weapon sets. Oof, that stupid elite effect, though. Oh, hey, I ran. I actually ran out of ammo. That's not a thing that I was prepared. To we have so many, um, so many things in the quill. Uh, we're going to take this. That I totally forgot that it can run out of ammo, because it just doesn't. Alright, I'm I'm learning from yesterday. I'm just gonna go ahead and bite the bullet here and flask any time when we are not getting the full malaise recovery from it. But I don't like it. We are definitely going to have to spend... Um, I was really expecting the rat to die. We're definitely going to have to spend the money on the flask charge and probably also on the cough syrup, so... This does not leave us a lot of money for doing other things. Uh, we missed a couple of enemies. I don't actually care enough to go back for them. And the question is, do we get a cool drop here? Probably not. Hmm, I wonder what level that shovel is. What level is my... My Death Orb is 8S. The odds of this Death Orb being better are pretty low. And I actually like the traits on this one a fair amount. I like the oil and the biters, so let's... This is, it's a six, really? Doesn't that seem quite bad for the difficulty of the area we just went through? I don't think I'm gonna take it. They should probably, uh, they should probably ramp that up a little bit. This area is really hard. So where can we go? We can go ramparts, or we can go sewers. I think I'm cool with fighting Conjunctivius. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll take a sewer path. We'll just stick to these sewers that have been so kind to us, that have treated us so well. I don't actually have anything to give you. I like to just check in every time anyway, because, you know, of my memory. And you are going to give me Heart of Ice. This is the time for Heart of Ice. And maybe we should just buy off Alienation, but every time you do that, it costs more money. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, do I... I think I'm actually going to buy this now. Shots pierce the first target is really helpful. Uh, now that we know, we're going to have plenty of money, because we're... We're not going to encounter a food shop until, this, until the uh, graveyard, right? Hooray for magic chains! Alright, now this, of course, this biome does have some things I don't like much in it, like the mushroom guys. Right, I forgot about that. Ah, well, it's a very small amount of combo lost. But... I, honestly, I don't know. I don't know if this is a better biome for us than the, uh, than the ramparts. Ramparts have some ugly stuff in them, too, for sure. Uh, yeah, Tactics is... Tactics is still a fair amount of health at this point in the run. Oh, hey, it's been a minute since we've done this thing. Let's see if I still remember how to do it quickly. I might honestly not be far enough over... I'm a little worried that our head is going to snap back. Is this not? Nope, that does not go the way I want. 
Okay. That was that was the part I was worried we would not be able to make it through. All this work for 600 gold. But it turns out uh, every bit is going to count an awful lot. See, I sort of remember the route. Sort of, kind of. Wait a minute. There we go. And then, anytime you can jump up in the middle of a cow in the middle of a passage, you must. Oh wait, this is this is fake. It's this way. There it is. Aha! No, absolutely not. I hate the way it bounces around after you grab it. So if you try to hit R to sell it right away, it just teleports you out instead. What is in the four cell door in the ancient sewers? It's one of these. Pretty sure I'm pretty happy with our skills. Off color wings of the crow. This is like a really, really nice find. Damn it. Oh, interesting. Not where I thought that he was going to put that. See, that's the thing about the enemies in Dead Cells. They're always surprising you. Sometimes with their brilliance, sometimes with their stupidity. But if it was always the same thing, it wouldn't really be a surprise, now would it? I, you know what? What am I thinking? There's no way for me to fight that tentacle without awakening the elite, and I don't want to fight the elite. Ah. That sucks. I really thought we were going to just make it out of there. Do I have to go... No, up here is fine. I do not have to go past the elite. You know what? We only have three kills right now due to me taking a bad hit there. Let's go ahead and do this then. Let's wake that tentacle as well. Okay. Uh, do I care about this? It does have three points of stats on it, but they're kind of awkward points of stats, and also it doesn't start an oil fire. So I'm just gonna not do that. Root is a much more resilient uh, crowd control effect than Freeze is. It's nice to it's nice to have an effect that allows us to do damage over time stuff without breaking. This is more compelling. But I think still no, even though it is three points of stats. If we found one that didn't reduce our overall green level, I think I would I would have no choice but to take it. Wait a minute. Very conspicuous wall? No? Okay. The thing about procedural generation is that sometimes it will produce conspicuous looking things that actually have no value. But like if a human game designer built that cavern in that shape, I would I would absolutely have the expectation that there would be some wall chicken or something. Yeah, this is this is so much easier to handle as a uh, as a thing <laughs> than the promenade ramparts path. Not to say there isn't some tough stuff going on. There we go. We got him to commit. I'm a little worried about that other one that's even further above us. But it looks like he lost he lost track. Okay. I would love to go deal with that guy as quickly as possible. It looks like this is the right path. Just that I'm not at risk of forgetting about him and coming back here later and getting spiked. Feels like a teleport was a little bit of overkill there. Ooh. 
You know what? We're going to put that in our backpack. It is unfortunately not a thing that I could swap in and pair with my shield too much effect, but I do think that's a really good weapon. Ooh. Wow, 9++, huh? That's a bit of an upgrade. 1880-6574. Yeah, and then we could we could buy this up to S rank. I, you know what? Maybe it's just a repeater crossbow run. Maybe we're not switching to a different weapon. Sorry, Ice Shards. I do love the Ice Shards, though. And I love the fact that they got buffed. That's so weird, because they were so good before. The fact that it's now three projectiles feels, like, very strange to me. Ah, damn it. I was looking at that, and I was like, this is this the one that drops you in a pit? A big pit of slime? And... I did not become certain that it was until after I had already rolled. That really, really, really shouldn't reset your combo. Like, honestly, it's kind of baffling to me that the developers decided that taking slime damage should reset your combo. Well, we're definitely not getting back to 60 from here. I, can, I cannot see that happening. So, I mean, uh, the lack of a combo door is not a big deal, necessarily. There are reasonable odds that we would have just sold whatever we were going to get from the combo door anyway. Much as we are selling this. We are doing pretty well on gold, though, huh? Like, we are going to be able to remove a lot of malaise in the graveyard. And also, I know it's easy, but I'm just going to take a moment here to congratulate myself for doing a pretty good job of navigating most of the traps so far. Uh, probably not, right? There was definitely a time when Shovel Plus... Ice Spark would have been a good, uh, or Ice Shards would have been a good replacement for our aging crossbow, but now that we have a new crossbow, I feel like it is reasonable to just stick with it. Wow, he did not stay in the, uh, in the Death Orb nearly as long as I wanted him to. Can I, can I get a description of this necklace, please? Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you know what? Sure, I'll take that. It has less fun affixes, but it does have good stats on it. Something was considering teleporting up to us, but their, uh, their teleport channel gets interrupted by any source of damage. Uh, let's go this way real quick. My suspicion is this is going to turn out to be a pretty short tunnel. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Alright, I think we're not taking an ice shield. This is kind of a pain to get into. Boy, that's not what I thought was going to happen. You know, usually he, um... Well, since we're at... Since we're at zero combo anyway, we may as well just do this. Usually when you get to the edge of a thing, he doesn't just fall straight down very suddenly. Caught me, <laughs> caught me a little off guard. This trap spreads oil, does bonus damage to bleeding targets, generates a toxic cloud. Man... This might be a pretty significant upgrade over the uh, over this death orb. And we have plenty of money with which to go shopping. You know what we do not have is plenty of flask charge with which to restore our health. And that makes me a little nervous. 
I do not want a flask. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna hold out. We're gonna try to try to get a little bit lucky here. Maybe one of these enemies will drop some watermelon. You know what? If one dropped watermelon with malaise on it at this point, I would probably just take it. I do feel like we're doing well on scrolls. We have a lot of scrolls for the point in the run that we are at. Okay, I want to do this. Yeah. I wanted to make sure the worm was in front. Uh, well, that's a total no-brainer. Obviously, I will take non-infected food. Damn it. There we go. See, really, the enemies just want to help. You know, they're here for you. Okay, there is a scroll that I do have to go for. We don't necessarily have to fight any of these enemies, though, and maybe... We can probably take this guy. This guy's not going to be a problem. But I'm going to leave those uh, those two in the corner down there uh, to their own devices. Oh, interesting. He just... I guess that's technically the edge of the platform. I forgot that that was going to be the edge of the platform. He didn't... Um, when they do the thing where they're coming up out of the ground to um, to do the sweep, they don't give an attack indicator and the thing, they come up instantly. And we got caught by that because I thought he was going to have to go all the way to the wall before he could do it. I do not think that this is an upgrade. And then I think we're probably just going to take these two. Well, it could have gone more smoothly, but it wasn't terrible. Now, there's no reason for me to go back, right? We didn't leave any food or anything on the ground, no. We could go kill those two guys in the hopes that they would drop some food, but odds are poor. I would say poor. Alright, so there's pretty good odds, uh, unfortunately, that we are going to have to spend a flask charge during this fight. I might do the fight flawlessly. It's not actually impossible, but it's not super likely, is it? We do not have good skills for this. I don't really want to replace my... Um, I don't really want to replace my skills. I think they're quite good for biomes and stuff, just maybe not for this boss. Okay, these... These modifiers are not particularly good. We don't have a source of freeze or slow. I mean, like, I love shots pierce the first target against normal enemies. I think we'll we'll just keep it. But these are not the ideal modifiers for fighting this boss. And then, like, do we want to re rebuy our mutations? I'm trying to think. What do I think would actually be useful here? I'm just going to hold on to them. Alright, so we know that Conjunctivius is rootable. We have we have done roots before. So we're going to be able to get good damage out. My concern is just that like we're going to burn all of our arrows really quickly and then we're going to have to run around and hide a lot. Also, um, unfortunately, the root makes the root makes the charge really um, difficult to predict. I'm just going to flask. We're, we're going to have to. Because the charge doesn't happen when it looks like it's going to happen. It happens whenever the route ends and you have no visual indication of when that's going to be. That's very doable. Actually, we might be able to get some hits here. No? <laughs> Can I do some damage with this? I need you to be like near a platform, but not actually on the platform. So 
So yeah, the problem with this is that it doesn't actually... The tentacles don't come up out of the ground, and so they don't really become vulnerable. The Crusher's doing good work. I don't know, man. I don't feel like I was in that. <laughs> okay, so that went really, really, really poorly. Uh, way worse than I would even have thought possible. Somehow, somehow there are still blueprints. I do wish all the stuff would just drop at once. The legendary conjunctivious outfit. That was the legendary victory, that one. So yeah, that's um, hugely, hugely bad. We're in terrible health with a huge amount of malaise, down two flask charges. But I, we do have to go to the graveyard because there is a food shop there and I'm pretty sure there's not a food shop in the sanctuary. Well, we did manage to bring an awful lot of stuff to the forge. We almost actually got any benefit at all from doing so. Wow, 750 cells, huh? That's an expensive outfit. All right, now we do know that there is a cursed chest in the graveyard. There always is, but it's in the underground part. And obviously, you'd really like to uh, you'd really like to find that before you go to the cavern. You've, you'd like to find that while there are still enemies enough alive to be able to kill kill through the uh, the curse up here. Because in the cavern, I do not feel confident that I am not going to get hit. So I think, in terms of having enough resources to actually finish the job here, I think we have to not flask. Wow, that, that is a little longer than I thought it was going to be. I was going to try to uh, throw the crusher. Didn't quite work. Yeah, I, I think we have to not flask. And I think we have to try to get to that cursed chest without wiping out all of the enemies. <clears throat> and then, um, unfortunately, then get the curse, go back fight enemies until we until we clear the curse and get all of our stuff off. And not even all of our stuff. It'll remove six malaise, but it will basically heal us to fall. Are you not? There we go. I guess we do need we do need the key, don't we? Ow. Tried to, I tried to be in the corner enough for that not to hit me. It probably doesn't matter. Uh, this is definitely not an upgrade. Not an upgrade. Getting the key early is actually really nice. Provided that we survive to actually get it, of course. Alright, thank you, Crusher. That's just money. <clears throat> I mean, obviously money can buy food, but... I would rather have just gotten the food straight up. Well, this doesn't look like much of a choice of paths. Right? We just... <laughs> the bottom one's way safer. Oh, 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. That is a thing. Food? Ah. Okay, well... At least we're definitely going to be able to afford flask charge plus shop food plus cough syrup. So maybe we aren't going to have to take the, um, the curse. We still want to take the curse, of course. Oh god. Ah, his, his jumps, his jumps are too slick. We, w we want to take the cursed chest for the, uh, for the obvious, uh, scroll. Okay, I feel a little frustrated by that. I, uh, I completely lost control of my character when he hit me in the air. I was holding left, but it just stopped moving left. I guess we were in, like, hit stun. Um, I guess that does resolve our malaise problem. And honestly, that's a pretty good amount of malaise to be at when activating your YOLO heart, so... Maybe it's not so bad. But it definitely was not what I was trying to do. This could be a... This could be a problem. Right, we're probably going to want to resolve this by waiting until the two big walking enemies are facing left and then just dropping down, pushing the crusher, and then... Yeah. And then a rat will push us slightly to the side such that we cannot jump directly upwards and go back up onto the platform we were on. So the food shop's always in the underground area, right? We will probably just go to the underground area as soon as we find it, rather than going all the way to the right first. Alright, search through garbage, hooray! I love garbage! I can't remember if... Yes, there is there is more stuff. Ooh, uh, I don't think we take that. So we're gonna come out of we're gonna come out of the graveyard with effectively two of five flask charges spent. Right, count basically just counting the yellow heart as a flask charge that is slightly more effective at removing malaise than most of them are. Oh, this is a bummer. Ah, well, this this is definitely a Wings of the Crow kind of scenario. Ah, right, yeah, we gotta we gotta find the food shop as quickly as possible, and then we'll we'll make other decisions from there. I do think that the fog the fog is a bummer, but the fog is way less of a problem than training dummies are. Man, he's just going to turn around and walk away from the Crusher. He knows exactly where it is. He has no interest in walking into it. Alright, there we go. That's pretty good. I do like a version of this thing that drops a, a big oil fire. Yeah, the repeater crossbow's quite solid. It's maybe not 100% ideal versus bosses. And like against the uh, against the giant, we're probably not going to want to still be using this because it's going to run out of ammo really quickly. I would love to be on like. Hmm. Nah, probably not. I would love to be for the giant fight on like giant killer plus shield, <laughs> if that's the thing we could find a way to put together by then. And then post giant fight. Man, who knows? Let's let's not count our chickens before they are hatched. Ow, I did not see him. You really can't see below you very well, unfortunately. 
There's a lot of headroom on the screen, not a lot of foot room. It's not usually the thing that people mean when they say that word. How are you? Okay, I was gonna say, how are you still alive? So, uh, I would love to have a different set of weapons is exactly the kind of concern that makes you want to hit your combo doors. Uh, which we obviously will not be doing here. I mean, we could take the ice shards into the giant fight. It's not necessarily terrible. We should probably be trying to get through this without aggroing all of the enemies. Ooh. But anything that sees us is just going to teleport to chase us, right? That does, that does complicate things slightly. Oh god. That didn't, that didn't work. I was trying to... Yeah, see. That's an issue. Alright, we're getting, we're getting some of them. Whew. Can I say I'm proud of myself for getting through that without dying? That was actually a really dangerous situation. The root actually does a lot of damage over its duration. Ooh, okay, where the hell is that chest? Uh, broadsword 9S. I, I cannot imagine using a broadsword on the cavern or the giant fight. Those both seem like... Just like hardcore suicidal things to do. You know what we're going to do? We're going to just leave here. There's a supply of enemies in there. That we could potentially use to break a curse. Should I have just killed the elite? So that we don't have to worry about going in there and running into the elite with the curse? Maybe. Maybe I should go in there and do that and then just leave the rest of it alone. I don't know that I'm going to be able to fight that elite any safer right now, though, than I would with the curse. I, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it, and we're probably going to die when we go for it, but... We're probably going to die anyway. You know, that's just life. <laughs> that's just how life works, in case you weren't aware. What is in the four-cell door in the graveyard? It's... stuff. That I don't want. Weirdly low-level stuff considering how deep we are into the game. Okay, so here's our cavern door. Is the teleporter going to be on this side? Okay, yeah, there's nothing else over there. So there's still potentially a supply of enemies up above on the on the surface to the right of the mausoleum and then there's a door that has enemies in it uh, I didn't bring any gardener's keys there's no sense going and getting that am I misremembering no okay there is totally a yeah this has been a I feel like even for the graveyard this has been a long and circuitous route Okay. I should have taken damage there and the game chose not to punish me. Is this also enemies? Nope, this is just 20 cells. I'll take it. Think how think how impressive our death explosion is going to be. Alright. Realistically, I think we have to take this. I think we need the power. I think we need the alienation effect. Fingers crossed, everyone. Uh, torch. 
I think I'm more likely to use this than I am to use the ice shards at this point. Yeah. Alright, let's go back up to the surface and hope that there's enough easy enemies up there. That's not it's really not a lot of room. But we'll get some. And obviously we wanna obviously we want to go over and get the uh, get the loot that is on the far side. Okay, it turns out there are no enemies. Well, that makes me a little nervous. And there's got to be enough enemies left over inside the uh Left over inside that door, right? It's... Gosh, I hope so. I mean, look, it's not the end of the world if we go into the cavern with, like, one or two enemies left on our curse, but the cavern is a much, much harder place not to get hit in. Which is a big part of why I'm so bummed out about everything else that has happened here. And wait, did we... Did we not find the food shop? Okay, there's a little bit of stuff left here. It's that door? Did I just not go into a door? I mean, that's the one that's marked with the coin. That's the shop. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. So let's kill these enemies over here first. I can't tell if they're walking around on the platform below me. I'd really like to stand here, please. Okay. They are. There's two left. Okay, it was that guy and a rat. All right. Ten kills left. Oh, they didn't attack while I was on the platform with them, which I thought they were going to. Oh god, I'm falling and I have very little control over it, because, uh, I guess he hit me from above. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't think I got hit there. <laughs> I was definitely considerably below him. That's that's a little sketchy, if you ask me. Uh, that said, I don't necessarily think that was the one. We took a lot of damage against Conjunctivius. That would have been a, a long-term problem for us. But, I actually think that that was kind of promising. We got through a lot of rough situations on that one. The kind of play that we need to get through this isn't that much better than the kind of play we just saw there. That is the story I'm telling myself. <laughs> so that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I think that little break was real good for me, because like we're still, we're still dying, we're still not getting through, although I definitely count today as progress. But I'm just not frustrated in the same way. Like I'm still having a lot of fun. Um, it would be really easy, and it, this has happened with me a bunch, to get like, to get frustrated with a lack of making progress in a game in a way that makes me start to dislike the game. Um, which is not really the game's fault in a lot of cases, but it's just the thing that happens. But uh, with Dead Cells, even when I was frustrated, I was frustrated with myself more than the game. And like I said, just said, I'm still having a ton of fun here. This game's just really good, y'all. So, when you come back next time, tomorrow, we will try to make even more progress. Perhaps we will actually get to the giant. We weren't that far off this time. And we'll see you then.